Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Ravin Mishra and in this video we are going to fix this error. Cannot connect to the URI and we are getting this not authorized error okay from the git as in when we try to you know log into the git okay and we are trying to you know push the content or project to the git or any any changes okay to the git and we try to log in we try to click on push head and we get this error okay so how how to how to make this work how to resolve this not authorized error okay so now here we have got some kind of you know content and as in when i save this project and if there is anything any changes are done inside this let's say some changes okay and if if i save the project i get something in the staged changes if i try to you know push that say paste factory changes factory changes and if i try to you know commit and click on commit and push i get this login pop-up wherein i am giving my username okay git username and password store in secure store and it is again you know uh, popping up so how, how to fix this pop-up every time you make a change you you know commit your changes to the git you are getting this and it is kind of you know annoying right so how, how to fix this uh, login uh, error and also like if you cancel it and click on push head it will throw that unauthorized error right whatever we have seen uh, in the beginning of this video so how to you know get resolved i mean uh, get fix how to how to fix that error so here i mean if you go to the git and let me take you to the exact location i mean you have to go to this setting and you have to come this far developer setting and there you will get option called personal access token and just click on token classic and generate new token so with this error we will try to you know fix that with with this option we will try to you know fix that error right whatever we are getting on this during uh, the commit to the git from eclipse okay so i'll go and create the generate new token i'll give the name test git okay and i will set the expiration to 30 days or i can set it to the no expiration okay and simply i will select i will check a repo because i want to make sure everything goes you know well with the repo okay so and you can choose these options accordingly but for now i'm selecting that repo and generate token click on generate token so i'll get this key which I'm going to you know, paste it over here. Okay. So I'll give my username the way I was giving it. And I will paste that password over here. Okay. And I will click on, I will check this option, store in secure store. And I will simply click on login. And see, I have got this particular you know, window this time. So I can close this and I can simply click on push head now okay i can preview so these are the going these are changes okay main up to date everything is all fine and i can simply push it okay up to date nothing is pushed but soon after you know make your changes which was you know discarded earlier like changes or changed again if i say okay and this time when i save this particular in a project i will get something over here okay. if i save this file i will get here okay so i will move those changes to the staged content and again if i say paste factory changes or commit paste factory commit i'll simply click on this and everything will be moved to Okay, this repository. Okay, I can configure. I can simply simply close this. Okay, 
everything is all fine now i can go ahead and check my so this is how you you can you know generate the password you can generate the personal access token right and give instead of password you can give this particular you know token in order to fix that error now for now like whatever we have checked in after you know added this personal access token let us see if the those changes have has been pushed to the git or not okay so i'll go to the repository and as that git was the repository right and uh, Base factory was a class, so it should be somewhere in the Java and in the Base factory. And I made the changes inside here, right? Login Base factory. So I'll go to this login page. See, those changes, whatever I have made here, right, has been pushed successfully. Okay, so this is how you can. Uh, you know make changes and uh, post it to the uh, git and also how to you know fix the login error okay by providing the access token personal access token right which we have generated and pass it on uh, to the local git repository when we are pushing the content to the git from the eclipse so that's it from this video and I hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section. I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep learning and thanks for watching.